Hello friends, welcome back to our packet tracer series. Today we are going to discuss about InterVLAN and today we are going to configure InterVLAN. As already we uh, already we discuss and we done configuration of VLAN in our last video. So today we are going to discuss about VLAN, how we will configure the VLAN how, and how we will make two different VLAN to communicate each other and uh, this is inter vlan we use inter vlan to make the communication between two or more vlan as we know that different vlan cannot communicate so for that purpose we are going to use one router also with the router we are uh, making two different vlan to communicate each other so let's start we will do con uh, we will do the configuration now so I will show you how to configure the inter VLAN. So let me open the notepad. So first I will write the VLAN configuration, whatever we are going to put in the switch. So let me write uh, config T host name switch SW1 then vlan 10 i am creating vlan 10 giving the name sales and vlan 20 giving the name marketing with this we create the vlan then we need to assign the port so i need to check the port see this is a port having f03 and f04 these two ports are in vlan 10 and these two port this is 5 port 5 and port f06 in marketing vlan so i need to do the configuration so let me start here assigning the ports so i will write int f0 by f0 by 3 this port in the switch port axis vlan 10 then this is switch port mode axis i will do this same for remaining vlan first one is finished second we have switch port 4 this is 4 and this is same for vlan this is 4 so now we will do this same for different VLAN. I will copy paste this and this is the port number 05. This is the 05 and this is the 06. So I will write down 05 or the port is 05 and VLAN 20 because this is for marketing. So I will write 20. I will copy this one this is 05 right 05 and i will copy this one then i will paste here we will change this to 606 and this is the vlan so now we have two vlan we created a two vlan that is vlan 10 that is sale vlan 20 that is marketing and we assign to the port number 3 and port number 4 this is a port number 3 and port number 4 we assign vlan 10 vlan 10 and here we assign uh, port number 5, port number 6, VLAN 20. So this is the configuration done for VLAN. Now we need to uh, do the configuration for router also. Because with this configuration, this department cannot communicate this department and this uh, like that. But we need to make the communication between two different departments. Then we will use the router in the inter VLAN. So let me first paste this configuration in the switch then we will do the configuration for the router so let me open this and then i will go here i will go in the enable mode then i will paste the configuration which i prepare here see all are okay and accepted so we have here i will check the configuration show vlan brief with this command we will check here see this is the vlan 10 sales 20 marketing and marketing is having the port number f05 f06 and sales is having f03 and f04 so this is the 
configuration done now i will save this configuration now we will write the configuration for router so for router what we will write we need to assign the router interface in this ip and in this ip means this vlan i given the ip address 192.168.10.2 and here also 10.2 this vlan is 20.2 so i will assign 10.2.1 for this port means this is a gateway for this one and this is a gateway for this one so let's write this one and also we need to put this port this one and this this two port in the trunk so we need to put this two also in the trunk for the vlan we will do that one later first we will do the configuration of the router so let's start config t host name router one then interface we have interface f0 by 0 then ip address 192.168.1.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then we will go in the interface f0 by 1 then ip address 192.168.1.1 this one is 10.1 as we keep the gateway this is 10.1 and this is 20.1 255.255.255.0 this is the ip address we need to write no shed so i will write no shed down and here also i will write no shed down so now we will uh, paste this configuration in the router so let me copy this configuration and I will paste this configuration in the router. I will go here, no, then enable, I will paste the configuration in the router. So it came, let me check, show, show IP interface brief. So see here we assigned to ip for the f0 by 0 f0 by 1 and here um, ports are up this is okay i will save the configuration this is the configuration done so this port is ready but we need to put this one also in the uh, trunk port and the vlan so before doing this one uh, we will test first how it is working or not so i am i am going to ping this pc that is sales PC to the marketing PC. It should not communicate. Let's try ping 192.168.20.2. So they should not ping each other. Let's see. See, request timeout means uh, sales department cannot communicate with the marketing department. As we done VLAN, VLAN not allowed to communicate two different department so now we are using a, tra a traditional old method using a router to make the communication between them so already we configured the router now we need to configure this two port in our trunk mode and vlan mode so they can communicate so i will put this this one f0 by 1 in the vlan 10 and f0 by 2 in the vlan 20 so they can communicate each other so let me uh, do the configuration we need to do this configuration in the switch i will go f0 by 1 interface f0 by 1 i will make this port switch port axis vlan 10 and switch port mode axis I will copy this whole thing and I will paste here this is f0 by 2 second one and this is vlan 20 so let me paste this configuration in switch so I will copy this then I will paste this in the switch we will go in the global configuration then I will paste this configuration 
so we done the configuration i will come out i will save this in configuration then we are going to the, uh, see the this two different department can communicate or not see this is orange if we do fast forward switch it will go now we will check as before we check we will check again same 192.168.20.2 first is request timeout second one is reply is coming so with this work we can say two different department before it, they cannot communicate but after doing a interview lan it is communicating so our lab is successful done i will show you the this one see this is a router this is our sales this is marketing before they cannot communicate in the vlan when we do inter vlan then this two department is communicating what is the meaning of inter vlan means we will uh, connect one router and we will assign the ip address here uh, here and this is a gateway for this department this is a gateway for this department then we will put this port this port in the vlan 10 and vlan 20 disadvantage of this uh, traditional method is if we have vlan example if we have vlan uh, 40 vlans we have in our company then we need to do this connection 40 and router is not having this that much port and it is not easy to do that's why we will go for different method from these two stick on a rotor on a stick and that is also not uh, good then we will go svi switch virtual interface so in next video we are going to see the first we will see rotor on a stick then after that we will see uh, so svi switch virtual interface so main solution for this one is switch virtual interface will be good solution for inter vlan but we will see after uh, rotor on a stick video we will see that one so uh, subscribe our channel and share the video with your friends next video we are going to bring a rotor on a stick okay see you bye